Uh, I started woodturning when I was in university, uh, about four years ago now. The process that I have is looking at an object and figuring out if it's possible to turn it on a lathe. It is a very traditional craft, it's an ancient craft, um, and there are definite key shapes that people are making with bowls and with spindles. Um, and I'm just trying to push those boundaries a little bit by making something that feels a little bit more modern to me. Um, using like strong geometric forms based on the fact that you are turning something ar around its axes and it's always going to be symmetrical. So it just seems natural to me to create something that has a, a strong symmetry and a strong geometric abstract shape. So far, I feel like I am not limited by the lathe. There has been nothing that I've wanted to create. Like I, I feel like I'm constantly coming up with new shapes. Like whether I'm just walking to the studio or I'm just doodling, like creating different things. I, I feel like so far I've been able to create everything I've thought of in my head. Wood turning in general is a lot of, you have to go through a lot of bad to get to the good. So there'll be times when I get right to the end of something that I'm making and it will snap or a little piece will chip off. So it's been a lot of trial and error. My favorite part about wood turning uh, would have to be the slow grain reveal. So you never really know what you're gonna get until you take the final piece off, off the lathe. Use the roughing gouge and it will reveal some kind of knot, which creates like a really interesting shape in the wood. With wood turning, you, you don't know how the finished product is gonna turn out until you see it. I'm Elise McLaughlin and I am a wood turner.